Again, welcome to our FDU Florham University women's basketball team. Uh, quick reminder, if you have a cell phone, make sure the volume is off or turn it off so we don't get interrupted with that. Um, once again, welcome to Central Wisconsin in the Final Four of uh, Division Three women's basketball. And we will start off with head coach Mark Mitchell. And coach, if you would, uh, tell us a little bit about your season and the road to get to the Final Four here in Stevens Point, Wisconsin. Well, first I want to say um, uh, thanks for uh, University of Wisconsin, Stevens Point, for hosting this event. This is uh, fantastic. Uh, we're, we are so happy to be here. Um, all the kids, you know, enjoyed our social last night. We had a great time here. So you guys are doing a fantastic job here. Um, the road coming here has been uh, it's been a fun one. Um, ever since uh, we started school, uh, kids been working hard and you know preseason workouts. And then uh, once the season got started, we were focused from day one and uh, always had this goal to uh, make it to the national championship. And uh, we want to win. The national championship, and that's been our goal since the summer, actually. Um, coach, can I talk about the uh, growth of this program? It's three years ago, uh, you know, you had a losing record, maybe we're at 500, and last year, uh, 24 and 4, I believe. Just kind of talk about the, the growth of this program after the, over the past few seasons. You need players. <laughs> you gotta go get them. Uh, you gotta go get players. I mean, uh, when I first got into the program, I did a little check in the history of the program, and the best record in the uh, history of the program was an 18 and 11 record, uh, which was still double-digit losses. So I felt like that wasn't, you know, good, you know, good enough, uh, you know, to 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 be, you know, where we are now. So I said, hey, we got to go out and get players. Uh, and in my first season, you know, I got hired, and we went up to Amherst and played played Amherst and uh, GP. They were ranked uh, two, number two in the country at the time. And I asked him, I said, hey, what does it, what does it look like? What does a number two team in the country look like? And he, he and the staff kind of laughed at me. And they killed us. I think they beat us by 48 that year. And, and he really could have beat us by 78, but GP's a nice guy. So, uh, and I just said to my coaches, I said, hey, we have to go out and get players like that. So, you know, we hit the recruiting trail. And a couple classes later, uh, you know, my junior class with Kyra and her sister Kyra and Delisha and, and Leanne Lively, you know, those kids came in, you know, that junior class. Um, when we got that class, you know, uh, their first year, I think we were 13 and 13. And I believe five of those games we lost by six points or less. So I knew we were on the right right track. And then the following year, uh, we got Rachel Groom to come in. Jalissa Lewis has been playing fantastic since she's been here at FDU. And uh, Missy's been doing great as well. So. Uh, we just have to put the pieces in place, and we're here. I guess from a player's perspective, tell me what it's like coming into an NCAA tournament like this. You know, what is it, just what is it like as a player? Jealous of Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's an amazing feeling. Last year we got here, we got to the first round. Um, we didn't make it past the first round, but um, that was a learning experience for us. We knew what it took to get to that point again, and this year we made sure that we weren't going to go home first year. We know what it was like last year, and we wanted that feeling again. Um, like I said, it's an amazing feeling, um, a humbling experience as well, and me and my teammates are very happy. So, and But we're not happy totally yet. We want the whole thing, so that's what we're striving to get. Um, I mean, for me, um, I, I've been here for four years, and uh, I came in the fr very first season, and we lost, and it was kind of like a letdown, like, oh, wow, like, all right, we have more to do, and then when Kyra and Karen, they all came in, and I was like, wow, like, we have great potential, and, we, you know, my sophomore year, we had an all right season, then when Rachel came last year, like, it's just been an amazing experience the past four years, and I couldn't be happier that I was here, and that Mark Mitchell, like, that he recruited me, like, it... I'm, I'm happy, but not, not always, not all, a little bit more work to do, so. Um, uh, it kind of feels like a dream to me. Um, uh, who would have thought we would have uh, got here? Uh, our freshman year, we was 13 and 13, and, um, 
it was kind of like upsetting uh, coming in and um, we what we needed was chemistry and we've got that chemistry and now it's just we have to play and we have to get it all. Hey Mark, since the beginning of this tournament, you, the team hasn't really gotten that much respect, but again and again through the rounds, you've proven yourself. Coming into the final four, it seems you're still low man on the totem pole, for lack of a better term. What does that do to motivate you for this weekend? Well, I've been this way all my life. Um, everything that I've gotten, I have to work for and, and earn. So that's just who I am. And, and most, if not all of our kids are the same way, you know, uh, under-recruited, you know, Delissa Lewis was a fantastic player at uh, Mount St. Dominic High School when she was in high school and, um, you know, all Essex County, Essex County player in the state of New Jersey and she was under-recruited. And I knew from the time I met this young lady that she was a fantastic basketball player. So she has a little bit of that you know, feeling of disrespect and underappreciated coming into this uh, t this tournament. I always feel that way. I always have that chip on my shoulder. That's just kind of who I am. Uh, it's never personal. It's just my makeup. Um, and our team kind of feels the same way. You know, every every game we play, you know, the other team is picked favorite. Um, you know, Messiah, um, Baldwin Wallace. Uh, you know, all year long, all we heard was Montclair State. So we felt like, okay, every game, no matter what, we have something to prove, and we stay together. And our saying is as one, uh, and that's what we do. We stick together, and we, we fight until the end. Players, can you talk a little bit about, uh, can you talk a little bit about Tubbs, and do they compare to any team you guys have played this year, or how would you? Kind of says your challenge against them. That's for me. That's for me. Um, <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know anything about Tufts other than the film that I watched. Um, you know, I know they have a great post player. I don't know her name. I just know her number, 52. Um, great perimeter play with the uh, number 25 and the point guard number three. Um, how do they compare to anyone we played? I mean, it's you know we, we play Eastern in our conference, and Megan Nowak is the best post player in our conference, so we, I'm 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 pretty comfortable with that. Um, again, you know, Aaron Anastasia in our conference from Del Val is the best you know point guard we play against, so I'm comfortable with that. Um, you know, I, I feel real confident in, in our kids and, and our abilities and what we need to do. Um, they play a, a, a contrasting style from us. We're a up-tempo team, pressure defense, full court, get after you kind of team, and they more, more methodical, high-low, get the ball inside, work it inside out. So we'll see. It's going to be a test of wills, which uh, which team imposes their will. Can we follow up with the players on, on the style a little bit when you're playing at your best? But what will we see? Players. For the players. Um, well, at our best, uh, we like we go down and you know if we set up the offense or not, it's quick. We go, we score, we get back on defense, we get stops, we press, we press the whole game. That's what we do. We're up tempo and in your face. Here we come, type of play. So. Um. Well, I think Melissa said it all. It's pretty much how we play. Um, it's kind of hard for other teams to you know, in practice, create what we do. We're a different type of team. We're a fast, up-temple team, so. So fans should, fans should expect a pretty back-and-forth game, it sounds like. Very high-tempo. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be entertaining. I don't know if we're going to win, but it's going to be entertaining. <laughs> um, for the players and coach, too, let's kind of talk about the undefeated record. Was it something that became more, I guess, of a pressure as the season wore on? Or is it something you didn't think about at all? Or I guess, I don't know. Like, the beginning of the season, it was exciting. It was like, oh, man, like, we have something to prove. Like, all right, we won. All right, we're 3-0. Okay, we got to keep going. And now, like, later in the season, it was like, 
we kind of had like this chip like we're supposed to win. Like we know that we go in and we have this different style of play and we just know that this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go out there and play our, t our game and beat teams by 10, 15, 20 points. So it's just what I guess we feel like what we're supposed to do. You guys look like you have a lot of fun when you play together and you look very comfortable on the field. Can you talk about how being so close has added to your success? That would be for you, 15. <laughs> that would be for you. Um, it's just, um, I would say, we have chemistry off the court. So uh, we're in each other's dorms, uh, especially during the winter break, when no one's on campus, playing video games and talking. <laughs> and uh, it's just, we, we're all just close. And when you bring that onto the floor, it's it's even better. And um, we know where each other, like, like the ball. Um, and when somebody's having a bad game, you know, we lift them up, it's okay, we're going to get it back. And um, we really push each other, uh, and especially in practice. Uh, we like to have a lot of fun in practice <laughs> and um, during warm-ups, uh, dancing and stuff, just to, like, get loose. But um, it definitely helps us play uh, more as a team, and um, I could say that really contributed to how we got here today. I think that that's something you definitely can't teach. Like, you have to have that, like, just within your team. Like, you, a coach can't tell you, listen, you have to come together and, you know, be nice to each other and have fun and have chemistry. Like, it just has to come within the team. And I think that that's what we've had since day one. Getting to know each other, getting to know what we don't like, um, where we prefer the ball, and simple things of what Kyra likes to eat after games or... <laughs> Silly things, dancing before games, it's just what we do and that'll never change. We'll be friends, best friends after the season, so. Kyra, if you would, two-time conference player of the year, all sorts of accolades. We know it's a team game. You score roughly 14 a game, which I think <coughs> most people would think conference player of the year probably scores 20. Plus, talk a little bit about you're more than just an individual. You really do play a team game. Um, yes. Um, uh, I feel like um, uh, maybe last year I, I believe I averaged 18 points a game. Um, and like, look how it turned out. Uh, we lost the first game in the NCAAs. I believe that it's more of a team game, yes. And uh, I look for my players, and it's so much better when everyone can score on the floor and no one's like, oh, she's the best player, you have to keep her from scoring, and then we'll win. So it's it's so much better when everyone can score, like I said before, and um, my team really helps me out. Uh, when I'm having a bad game, someone picks, up, picks it up, uh, my sister or Jalissa or Delicia, and when you have that, uh, you become unstoppable. You guys are one of the most confident teams I've ever seen trailing at the half. I'd like to think that other teams that you guys play against, they're down by 2, 4, 10. And that could be very disconcerting. But for you guys, it seems that, again, that expectation to win. Explain a little bit about your confidence as a team, even if you're trailing at the half. Anybody can answer that. Well, I, a lot of it, I think, comes from coach. Um, I know, like, when we go in the locker room at halftime, if we're down, we go in, we pick ourselves up. We talk amongst ourselves before he comes in. But a lot of the times he comes in at halftime, and he just, he just tells us, we're fine. Like, we got this. Like, you know, you guys, all right, you might have done this wrong, and all right, Kyra, like, you, need, you need to pick it up a little bit. But we, we know that, and he really is, is good at keeping us relaxed and keeping us calm and keeping us focused on the task at hand. So, you know, when... The other, the last game we played at home, we were down, and he was like, "We're fine. Like, I'm not worried. Like, no big deal. Like, just go out there and come out in the second half, the first four minutes of the game, and we'll be set." So, I said a few other things, but I can't. <laughs> that, that's, <laughs> that's a secret. That. <laughs> that's a secret. Coach Mitchell, you talked about turning a program <coughs> around and being about players and talent, and you obviously have done that. Has has gotten to the top, brought you a new set of challenges. How so? Uh, but, well, that's my question. Now, now that now that you 
built the program, and here you are. What's what's the challenge for you as a head coach? Well, we we built the program. Myself, my assistant coaches, the players, our team managers, uh, the campus community. We all did it together. Um, uh, new challenges is. Uh, you know, in the recruiting process now, it's a little different than it was, you know, a few years ago. Um, I mean, I'm, we're looking at certain players like, uh, you know, Kyra, Kyra and, you know, Jalissa, you know, these guys are leaving soon. So, you know, Jalissa, this is it for her and Kyra and that junior class next year is it. So when we're out recruiting now, they have a standard that, you know, they have to live up to. And I'm, I'm telling recruits now, hey, we win. You know, winning is what we do. If you're not here to win, for the team, then this is not the, the university for you to play at, okay? And no selfish people are allowed in our locker room. Uh, so if it's about you and you and your playing time and what you want to get out of it, then then you, you need to go play somewhere else. This is about after you and the team and the program. I guess we're Melissa and Jalissa. Just kind of talk about having a season like this in your final year as a senior. To go out with a season like this. I love it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a very. I don't. I, words can't even describe how I'm feeling right now. I'm. I think. I wouldn't want it to be any other way. Like I'm glad that I have the team that I have. I'm glad I get to share this experience with the team that I have. And I wouldn't change it any other way. Like, I wouldn't have it any other way. I really love my team. So, this is a great way to go out. 100% um, what Jalissa said. Um, I mean, I knew I expected coming into this year that my senior year, like, we were going to have a great year. But I guess never in my wildest dreams did I think it would be, like, picture perfect. Like, you couldn't ask for a better season. You couldn't ask for a better team. Like, like she said, the words just can't describe how amazing this whole, you know, experience is. Coach, your tournament run, according to scores, you won rather handily all four games so far. Safe to say you're playing your best basketball at this stage? That would be safe. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we are. We're playing. We're playing. Much, we're playing well now. Uh, our conference uh, uh, semifinal against Del Val was a struggle, and you know people out there are saying, "Oh, FDU hasn't been tested." Well, our conference is, is tough enough. We we have been tested, and in our championship game against the Sales, we were tested. So coming into this, I go, "Hey, we just got to rebound a little bit better and shoot a little bit better from the free throw line, and we'll be fine going through this tournament." Um, you know, the regular season is what it was. Uh, we've been playing since the summer. We've been thinking about these last six games. You know, we just needed to get through the regular season, which we did. And now we are playing at our peak. And uh, like I said, you will be entertained. I, I assure you that. Anybody else? Just real quick, you know, you had the opportunity to host the last couple rounds of the tournament. This is the first game you're playing in this tournament on the road. How does that affect you and your team? It doesn't affect us at all. We, uh, our scheduling, you know, first 10 games of the season, we have one home game, nine on the road. So we know what it is to be on the road. We know what it is to be away from home. Uh, so we, you know, that's kind of why I do what I do, the road games, and just to prepare us for this point in the season. because. We're not going to be hosting a Final Four, so uh, we're used to being on the road. Uh, we're used to crowds being against us. We're used to everybody picking against us. So, you know, we we embrace it. We actually want it. So please pick stuffs, <laughs> and we're ready to go. And also, all our support are coming, so we're ready. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Again, welcome to Central Wisconsin to the Final Four, and we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.